Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I'll be talking Travis Fogum putting in work. Finally, man, finally he's putting in that work. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Not saying finally, he's finally working. Finally, it's caught on camera. This dude, man, it was highly anticipated. Highly anticipated for me, at least, because Travis Fogum was my favorite receiver last season on the Philadelphia Eagles. I think he wasn't given a fair shot. He did have a bad game against the Giants. But why a lot of people don't talk about the good game he had against the Ravens? Why nobody's talking about the good game he had against the Steelers? Why nobody's talking about the good game he had against the 49ers? These were top-tier defense, and he did it. Did he lose confidence when Alshon came back? Absolutely. It was clear as day because I feel like, and I know he felt like, he was the best receiver. He was the best receiver, and um, he wasn't given a fair opportunity because people kept looking at, well, he's a undrafted uh, rookie. Maybe he is what he is, and he proved that he's not. He proved that he's not. You know, I do a lot of videos about Quez Watkins, and a lot of people want Quez Watkins to have that other outside, um, I guess the X you want to call it. People want Devontae Smith and Quez, but I'm like, no, let's have Devontae Smith and Fogum. Let's rotate Quez. It's nothing wrong with that, but I'm still into the traditional wide receivers like the Julios, AJ Brown, D Hop. And I'm not saying he's up there with those guys, but he got the frame and the potential to be a top tier receiver. He do. Um, and if he can just take it to another level, and I see a lot of people questioning his work ethic which is not right, which is really not right. And um, he showed in this league against top-tier defense, he can play at a high level. That's all I want. That's all I want is that next wide receiver, next to Devontae Smith to play at a high level too. So I personally want um, Devontae Smith, Travis Fogum, and Jalen Rager in the slot. That's what I personally want, and I think that will work out for us. Why discount the best receiver on our team last season? Why a lot of people discounting that? Quez got Quez is fast. And I'm not going to say sneaky fast. He's fast. But if you can rotate him and just have him have that big play, that X factor, that's cool. And I would prefer Travis Fogum, the guy who got 500-plus yards, the receiver we've been looking for. So... I don't think you should discount him now. I think he can play at a high level. He's sure he can play at a high level, but this is just the reaction video. Not going to go too deep on our wide receiver core. Um, but once again, if I didn't mention it, just like my fourth time shooting this video, salute to Philly Philly, the podcast. That's where I seen it first. Went to his story and um, he's working. He's working. And I'm pretty sure it's a lot more work off camera. But what do you think and how do you feel about Travis Fogum putting in that work? I mean, I love it. I love it. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.